For the product make files value, we can see that there is a key value list. The key is the lunch choice, without the build variant and the value is the product make file. The product make file is the root make file that specify what will be built for our device. There are more product make files than the lunch choices, and this is done to keep the common lunch choices list relatively short. Our choice of a OSP Cuttlefish x86 phone points to the make file in the VSOC x86 phone folder. Let's open the AOSP Cuttlefish make file. We can see that the product make file itself inherits from other make files. The first make file it inherits from is the generic system make file in the source target dear product folder. For the real path of the make file, we need to know the source target dear build variable. To find out the path, we can exit back to the shell first. The build system is located in the build folder. There, we can grep recursively for source target dear variable and add a colon equals to filter assignments only. We can see that it is set in the core config make file to the build make target directory. Because we are already in the build folder, the generic system make file will be in the make target folder. The generic system make file inherits from the handheld system make file in the same folder. The handheld system make file inherits from the media system make file. The media system make file inherits from the base system make file. The base system make file defines the most basic system that can be built using the AOSP. The product packages is a build variable which lists the packages that are needed to be built. A package is also called a module. Each module name is unique, and if you add a new module with an existing name, the build will produce an error. More modules can be added to the list by using the plus equal flags. If it would have a colon sign instead of a plus, it would overwrite the previous values. The product host package contains the list of all the modules that will be built for the host OS. And in our case, these get built for our Ubuntu OS. HeyDB is compiled for our Ubuntu because we need it to access our device. Fastboot is a command line tool that flashes images to a physical devices that are in the Fastboot boot mode. The product copy files build variable is a key value copy list where the key is the source path in the AOSP folder and the value is a target path in the out target product folder. An RC file contains run commands that are used by the init process to set up and boot Android. These files are needed to be copied to the system partition in the etc init folder on our Android device. Obviously, these are placed in our local out product system folder, but the entire system folder will be packaged as the system image. The product packages debug adds modules that are only included for the ENG or user debug builds. These include the super user executable. Let's go back to the calling make file and see that the media system make file adds media modules. These can be modules such as the DRM server, a service that manages the digital media rights to prevent actions like screen capture your Netflix movie. Let's go up one make file to the handheld system make file. We can see that the handheld system inherits other make files such as the make file that include fonts modules and keyboards. It also inherits the needed WebView Chromium make file, which includes modules that run the WebView engine. Because it is a handheld system, it must build the Bluetooth, camera server, MMS, NFC, and telecom services. Some of these services might not run due to missing hardware, like a SIM card support which does not exist on most tablets, but these binaries must exist in the Android OS system partition to be able to boot successfully. In other words, if you are building a phone or a tablet you cannot remove these minimum required modules.